This life, eh, my brother and sister, try get money. Try get money. But get money in a legit way, oh, no, no pressure at all. Well, this is a boy, Gad, I'm Slink, and uh, welcome back to another crazy video. Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Before anything, eh, try as much as possible to click that like button, subscribe, and uh, invite your friends, your enemy, anyone you want to invite, guys. Well, Honestly, honestly, I cannot ascertain the true fact of this story. Someone said, be like, I don't turn whiskey the FCO. This man legit bought the property beside his house in Banana Island because people were coming there for inspection too much and they are looking into his compound apparently because of his privacy let me say that my house be this hmm? then the next compound the person out there there and that next compound is the house is for sale and people coming for inspection to inspect that next compound whenever they come there since they know say that whiskey does be this, or since they know that my house be this, they will they peep, they look my house to know as my house be, or maybe the noise they will they make sometimes. The thing pain the guy so t you know it they say the whiskey though, he go buy the property because of privacy. <laughs> this life will get what the you get why, but get legit money. Oh, if you don't go to the Adam Slate, say get money. You want to go get money by force, by fire. Try as much as possible to have legit money. Huh? Do not do any illegal stuff. No, 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 no to any illegal stuff. Get legit money, legit work. Anything you wish to do, but make sure you do it legitly. Yahoo, Yahoo, no be legit money. Four wine and no be legit money. No allow anybody to save you there. All those stuff are not legit. They are going to rope you later, later, later on. They will rope you later, later on. Hmm? Well, you know, Whiskey Dog drop a new music video for Diamond. And of, honestly, obviously, I like the attitude of Whiskey for this song. I love the attitude of this guy, honestly. This, this is the kind of you no know, soap attitude. Man, I want to see Whiskey they do. Let me see if don't pen like that, just stay soft, just they do see me like snail. They were saying a man chala, you know, they like to busy body. Chama, see, so say yes. You get body, you get that small, 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 You get that uh, vibe, you get that, uh, you know, that street credibility. See, they show yourself, come outside. Let me say, man chala, relax. Soft boy, pompous boy, come on, man, have that ish. Some at uh, some time, since you say your head a touch in your music video, since you don't see your dogu, or dogu for a music video, no say I the chook. Like, no, be person, maybe you just go no fan to any hour. Yeah, the chook, you the see, and get it from that music, from that music video. You see the power, the force he put in there. Obviously, honestly, I'm going to watch this, this video. Over and over. I've watched it close to 20 times already because it's another different uh, form of a uh, whiskey the uh, video. Never seen it before. Never seen something like this before. And it was so into it, you know, just to show, say, yes. I don't understand the kind of attitude, though, but I was loving that attitude. I was really, really loving that attitude. Show your strong vibe. Make you know, say, man, say, day, buddy. I mean, then, you do day, relax. If they do flex, if flex, you know, that soft boy. Soft boy for waiting. Soft boy for waiting. I just pack eh? You know, say, uh, whiskey, grow up for, we do a leg back. That's fine, I be the only son, the last, the last child. I think so, the last, boy, the last child, I don't know. I don't know, but apparently, it's the last child and uh, the last, the f the only son, the last child and the only son. But that don't mean say you got the purpose now. Show yourself. Show say power. There's so that person one do you any. Uh, you, you know say ah. 
And I know if he, I know if he tried this guy anyhow. This guy they can't be. This guy is strong. This guy get muzu. Even though the chest not to go up, you get a dry chest. But you see how the chest did well. That small body he get. The whiskey doesn't need to gym, you know. But she so that dry muzu to not necessarily day, a day. <laughs> strong man whiskey. He, he named this one diamond. We, we 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 weren't expecting whiskey to drop this music video honestly we weren't expecting whiskey to drop this video. it just came out of the blue if just decide to surprise all of us it just came out of, we know we know if they expect them so it just drop them like that it's good i really have appreciate them, honestly well dangote has made it to the guinness world record and this why maker eh, now just like it is it is something we weren't people expecting. So apparently, Guinness Book of uh, World uh, Book of World Record has awarded Dangote for building the world largest single train petroleum refinery in the world. Largest single train petroleum refinery in the world. I swear on God. Oh, I swear. Just as much as you guys say, I am confused. I don't understand what that one means. I would say I was thinking maybe largest, uh, largest refinery, largest refinery in the world, and I know Nigeria don't get the largest refinery in the world. But that single train petroleum refinery, I think I'm going to read more of that. But so far, he has been awarded that Guinness World Record. So even from the third dollar visited him recently. And from what I said today, I visited the eighth wonder of the world, the Dangote Oil Refinery. We just started production. Congratulations to my bestie. Uh, I don't know, say, uh, Aliku Dangote now, or third dollar bestie. Bestie Aliku Dangote on this tremendous feat. Guinness World, Guinness Book of Record. For the world largest single train petroleum refinery in the world history is made for those of you that made it to say down with the refinery nova start to the world it has start working i don't know whether now this refinery made a build neither affect shells they say apparently shells want to leave nigeria want to go into the deep sea i don't know where did they go but apparently they want to leave nigeria you know, there's the form of an announcement that was announced recently. So we don't know. Maybe that this, they affect them. Mm -hmm. We do not know what is affecting them to leave Nigeria. We do not know. But Dangote Refinery is working. And the federal government are reporting that it is working. They have given them uh, the crude oil they required. It is working. It is working. I think it's a step, though. It's a step to the new direction. The other time I asked my friend, do you think Tinubu did try? You guys say you did try. For me, did they try? Now, after all, we have been clamoring and begging for a refinery for over for, for, for some years now. Now it's, it has come. I hope other refineries start working because Bua refinery is also coming. Bua refinery is also coming. So we don't know. We do not know when it will, it will start working fully. You know, these big men know how to fight themselves. It's one thing to build a refinery. It's another thing to get petroleum uh, petroleum products to kick off the refinery. You see? One thing there to build the refinery. Another thing to get petroleum products to kick off the refinery. So, uh, uh, two things so we hope the federal government support this uh, our companies our company that uh, these men are building now so that they can move the thing forward we do not know if it's going to affect the dollar if it's going to affect our way of life if it's going to reduce cost of commodity in the market if it's going to reduce cost for us for nigeria to become a little bit way more conducive for us to live we do not know Honestly, I do not know. We are still just watching, just like everybody here. I am still just watching and hoping. Because the country, yeah, 
we are still working and hoping. Mm -hmm. So I hope it affects the our daily life. You know, make more money, you know, more money in our pocket, more spending power. That is what I'm expecting, man. So I'm so glad that uh, Dangote Refinery is finally, finally, finally working. I'm so glad. And with all those reports, I think you shouldn't be doubting again. Now. Don't be a doubting Thomas. They say the refinery is working. So just believe the refinery is working. And don't be a doubting Thomas. Eh? Just believe for once. I know it's hard though for some Nigerians. You will tell them something, they'll say no, no, no. Because of what how the federal government, how Nigeria uh, politicians have used us. Or well, sometimes just believe. It's working, guys, it's working.